Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we shall be discussing about Mangrove Alliance for Climate. Now recently at the 27th session of Conference of Parties, COP27, to the UNFCCC at Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, the Mangrove Alliance for Climate was launched with India as a partner. So let us discuss about the Mangrove Alliance for Climate. Talking about the member countries, the MAC is an initiative by the United Arab Emirates and Indonesia. It also includes India, Sri Lanka, Australia, Japan and Spain as partner countries. Talking about the objectives, it seeks to spread awareness on the role of mangroves in curbing global warming and its potential as a nature-based solution to climate change. Now, it will work on a voluntary basis that is, the parties will decide their own commitments and deadlines regarding planting and restoring mangroves. Now, talking about the mangrove forests, a mangrove is a shrub or a small tree that live in intertidal water in coastal areas and has roots in salty sediments, often underwater. They also grow in swamps. Mangrove forests can survive extreme weather conditions and require low oxygen levels to survive. The mangroves cannot survive freezing temperatures and thus are found mainly in tropical and subtropical latitudes. Now, if we talk about the significance of mangroves, first of all, Mangrove forests can store 10 times more carbon per hectare than terrestrial forest. Also, they can store carbon up to 400% faster than the land-based tropical rainforests. Once the plants die, they take the stored carbon into the soil and this is called blue carbon. Moreover, mangrove forests can act as natural barriers against rising tides and storms. Each year, they prevent property damages of over $65 billion. Further on, they also provide breeding grounds for marine biodiversity and 80% of global fish populations depending on healthy mangrove ecosystems. Further on, they also support a rich food web with mollusks and algae-filled substrate acting as breeding ground for small fish, mud crabs and shrimps, thus providing a livelihood to local artisanal fisheries. Now, UNESCO celebrates July 26th as the International Day for Conservation of Mangrove Ecosystem to raise awareness about mangrove ecosystems. Now let us discuss on some of the threats to mangrove forests. Between 2010 and 2020, around 600 km square of mangroves were lost, of which more than 62% was due to direct human impacts, the Global Mangrove Alliance said in its 2022 report. Infrastructure projects, industrial expansion and building of roads and railways and natural processes like shifting coastlines, Coastal erosion and storms have resulted in a significant decrease in the mangrove habitats. Now, talking about India and mangroves, India contributes to nearly half of the total mangrove cover in South Asia. According to Forest Survey Report 2021, mangroves cover in the country is 4,992 km square, which is 0.15% of the country's total geographical area. Now, since 2019, the cover has risen by only 17 km square. Moreover, West Bengal has the highest percentage of mangrove cover in India, mainly because of the Sundarbans. It is followed by Gujarat and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Other states that have mangrove cover are Maharashtra, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Goa and Kerala. Now, talking about the Sundarban forest. The Sundarban forest lies in the vast delta on the Bay of Bengal, formed by the confluence of Hugli River, Padma River, Brahmaputra and the Meghna Rivers. Sundarbans is the home to world's largest area of mangrove forests. The forest covers 10,000 km square, of which about 6,000 km square are in Bangladesh and the Indian part of Sundarbans is estimated to be about 4,000 km squares. The most abundant tree species are Sundari, Heritera forms, and Giva, scientifically known as Exocaria agaloka. Moreover, the Sundarbans National Park and the Sundarbans of Bangladesh are enlisted as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements relating to the mangroves. First, at the COP27 to UNFCCC at Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, the Mangrove Alliance for Climate was launched by UAE with India as one of the partner. Second, India contributes to nearly half of the total mangrove cover in South Asia. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. 
So as we know, both of the statements are correct relating to the mangrove forests. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, that is both 1 and 2. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you like the video. You can also check out the Daily Current Affairs section on our website for further details. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel. Yeah.